Okay, I was walking around the house trying to find a good spot with light. I like to do these during the day so I can get better light, but I've got the laptop bounced on my knee. I decided I needed to uh, get jumping on this challenge that, I, that I've been thinking about, which is the 100 book challenge. The uh, Oh boy, I forgot the name of the tag. It's criminal, criminally created a tag called, I think it's called Read What You Own. I'll put the, the real information in the comments to read 100 books that you own before you buy any new books. And the reason I decided I needed to go public about starting this challenge right away is I've just been buying too many books since I started booktubing. Now, I was watching... Uh, a video yesterday by a guy I really like. I'm going to bring up his name here. If I can get... It doesn't like my thumbprint tonight. Uh, Damn Fool Idealistic Crusader. He's got a great channel. It's not just books. It's uh, media. He's a big proponent of physical media. He did... I enjoy his videos. He did one on uh, a series of books called Larry Kent private eye i'm gonna link to that of course you should go watch that it's a really fun video um like i say he's really into physical media i'm traveling i can't do that but i looked up some of these larry kent books i found seven of them on amazon for a buck fifty each a series of 12 for some reason five of the kindle uh ebook versions weren't available so i thought oh seven books ten fifty i got I, I can't pass that up then I thought, well, I'll be reasonable. I'll just buy three. It gives you the options of to buy three or or five or all seven. So I bought three, four fifty, great. Uh, about two minutes later, I decided, well, it's only six dollars for the other four. So I bought those two. So I bought seven books. After I had already decided not to buy any more books, and these look really good. Maybe I'll talk about them at some point. But he really covered them well. He damn fool, I did. Idealistic Crusader always covers stuff really well. The first video I watched by him was about the Indiana Jones novels. And as I commented on his uh, channel, you know, I would have never thought I could care less about the Indiana Jones novelizations from 15 years ago or whenever they were made. But he made it so interesting. So his videos are some of the most entertaining. Um, and I hopefully a lot of people know him. He's a pretty popular YouTuber. And so I decided... I really have to nip it in the bud and quit buying books because I probably this this month I've probably bought more books than I have in a year. Just so many books plus downloading free stuff. So I'm going to do a couple caveats on my version of the challenge. Uh, I am going to read 100 books before I buy any more books. In that I'm counting. I'm going to not count audio audiobooks. I don't want people to decapitate me for listening to books. I do listen to a lot of audiobooks, and I'm going to go over that sometime. But these are only books I read. I'm, I promise I will only read the books, 100 books. But I am going to count books that I already have on hold from my library. I'm sorry this is so shaky. It's going to be horrible to watch. I'm, like I say, I'm only going to count books that I own on my Kindle or that I've got on my library hold list because I've got seven or eight books I've been waiting on there for a long time and I am going to read those. Uh, you know, when they come up uh, on Libby, it gives you the option to delay it, you know, and some I'm just not ready for. I've got Jerusalem on there by Alan Moore. Um, every time it comes up, I go, oh, I can't read that in three weeks now. So I'll just ex extend it for another day. Uh, you know, I'll delay, I'll put myself back in the whole queue. So I have about 10, 15 books like that probably that are on hold that I'll read. There's a series I'm in the middle of, uh, a mystery series called Valentino Books by Lauren D. Estelman. I've only read the first couple of those. There's only seven total. I'm going to count those too. And I'll do periodic updates, I guess, that people do. Those are my caveats. Wish me luck on the the challenge. Uh, hopefully I'll get through it in a a year. I have plenty of time to read. I really have no excuse not to. I do have some audio books in my queue, my my library queue tube. There's one, uh, the novelization of King Kong. I have the audio book of that. That's not going to count towards the 100, but I am going to listen to it. It's only six hours. I'm in the middle of Kidnapped on audio right 
right now. That doesn't count either, but that's only seven hours. Um, and I'm going to go over my reasons for liking audiobooks. And I decided to give myself a reward. I'm trying to get back on my phone here. I've decided I deserve an award if I finish this. And the book I'm going to buy, and I almost bought it today, so I decided I really have to get my my Kindle game organized. So I thought, okay, the, my reward to be when I finish the 100 book challenge is to buy this book that I keep hearing about from everywhere. And it's been around a while, but I I heard about it on Criminology's channel and some people on Twitter were going nuts about it. Uh, these Murderbot Diaries books uh, by Martha Wells. I really want to read that. I really wanted to buy this book tonight. So I thought I'm putting my foot down. I'm going to be disciplined. I'm going to read books that I own. And we'll see how it goes. All right. Booktube. This is Pete. I'll talk to you again.